Hi guys, Kirk and Jay with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Answer a question for you folks. I've had a lot of folks, they call me and say, Gee, Kirk, how come you use the galvanized um, weep screeds or drip screeds? They're called weep or drip because they have the holes at the bottom. And a lot of folks say, well, gee, back here in New York and in the uh, East Coast, we only use vinyl. Well, I'm in California. We can use galvanized. Say, for example, th these are uh, they're galvanized or steel, and they're coated so they're not supposed to rust. But out the East Coast, you get the snow, the rain. You get a lot of that stuff, so it's, you know, whether or not you use vinyl, that's your business. Here, I'm going to show you something. Okay, for example, we've got the compressor going on. We've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got pouring down rain. It's about noontime now, so it's warmed up. We got here earlier. <laughs> we had gloves on. If you just touch something, felt like your fingers getting smashed in a vice because it was about... 35 degrees right now it's about 45 so it's warming up getting back to what I was just talking about as far as the galvanized versus the vinyl I say use whatever uh, floats your boat guy for example this post and if you notice we got we have uh, six posts around this uh, fancy deck here <laughs> this is funny we did that about four years ago and it was in a winter time also the funny thing about that was Jay and I were in the back there. My brother Lou kept bringing the wheelbarrows and he kept getting stuck in the mud because you got 500 pounds of cement in a wheelbarrow and you're getting stuck in the mud. Boy, was he whining that whole day. We finally end up putting plank everywhere for him, but that's another story. Anyway, say for example, you got your screeds and what I did was we cut 20 screeds at the length we needed. Then we put our 45s. That whole scrap pile there is to just save us a bunch of time, guys. So Okay, so we take one of these. And by the way, too, guys, if, if you're going to pour concrete next to a wall, take your flashing, whatever kind of flashing it is. It should be some type of metal. Tin works, but galvanized preferred. These guys went up a half inch. Can you go up a half inch? Sure. Better to go up a solid inch. And we could raise screeds or uh, this uh, as far as we like. But right now we're up about a half inch. What I'll do is I'll take some liquid flashing. And this right here, this moist stop, is probably some of the best sealant there is. Uh, so we take the moist stop. We go around the flashing. Now we'll, we'll take these guys here. These are weeps or drip screed. They mean the exact same thing. We'll place it around the whole perimeter. Now we get these around the perimeter and that way it protects the bottom of the, of the wall because you can't have you can't have the rain coming down here you see we're all we're all wet anyway so we can't have the rain going through here and underneath it rotting out the bottom of the wood we take it for example always wear glasses guys you see how many strong ties we have these are strong ties, Simpson strong ties. And if you hit that, the staple would hit that, it hit you in the face. Have I almost lost an eye? You betcha. One time. I'm going to switch from placing weep screeds around the perimeter and go to something else. Because we've already done a lot of this to cut this video time in half. Okay, now, we're wrapped around these posts. These posts got to have two layers of paper around it. I'm using... Uh, the window here is a template to give me an idea of just how much to cut so I can wrap this guy like a Christmas present. So I'll cut this using the roll as a guide. I follow the roll, boom, straight down. You get a straight cut. Now put this guy out of my way. Come on now. Get it out of the way. You know what? Another funny thing. We're we're on this. And we might get some lightning just before we did the beginning of this uh, video. We had all kinds of lightning. And guess what song was playing? <laughs> this is uh, too coincidental. Guns and Roses. It was that song where he says, um, we pray for the rain to, the thunder and the rain to quietly pass me by. And I thought, wow, how, how uh, coincidental. Is what we're doing because we're getting all kinds of lightning right now. Uh, hopefully we don't get zapped. Anyway, we've got the we've got these screeds down here, 
And yeah, it gets kind of messy. Uh, but if you're going to do it, guys, if you have concrete, I, I really recommend that moist stop. That's the best there is because Sikaflex and other products that I use often, they don't, they're not compatible in the water. They just simply don't work. Now, here's another thing you folks don't see me do too often. I'm using a Structolath. Why? Because it's squares. If I try to go around here with my 17 or 18 gauge wire that I generally use, uh, I, it's hard to wrap these corners. So with the Structolath, it's actually kind of easy. Let me get in the rain for a second. Uh, I've been in the rain all day anyway, a little bit more. Won't hurt me. And, and guys, even Structolath has got to be attached properly where it's furred out. Okay. I'm going to use my big gun soon. Now the Structolath will bend whereas the K-Lath and all the rest of those 17 gauge and 18 gauge, they don't bend well. So this, we take it, we bend around. We bend around this pillar here. So anybody who's got pillars, I highly recommend you use a Structolath. We come here and you see where I'm going with this. I'm going to continue going around. And if I hit this strong tie, what's going to happen with my hammer tacker? I'm going to bust it. How many have we busted so far? Hundreds of them. Or a lot of them anyway. Especially when I'm working with uh, people that don't know much about them. Now, what we're doing here, guys, is I'm pulling this around here. Is this a two-man job? Not really. It's just one guy. You pull it around, and what does this do? This provides a, a fur. And what a fur is, is where the stucco goes. Not only, see that? I just hit that, my own strong tie. Okay, sometimes you can bust a gun doing that. Now, that's what we want here, guys. Now, what I would generally do is, I'm going to cut this, rather than show you that five minutes of cutting. Jason already cut this one here. Now he's cut this one here. So this is ready for a corner. Now here's the thing guys. Uh, <laughs> you see all this stuff right here? This is a whole box of corner aid. What is corner aid? Well, corner aid is to guide us so that we don't have to try and make corners. If, if you watch what we've done, you know we have well over uh, six, seven, eight hundred videos. And we show how to do almost everything that's related to interior plastering and or stucco. So I've shown how to make corners without corners, but that's too much work. What I'm going to do next is, uh, because we don't have these cut, because we're getting rained on, we've got all kinds of things happening here. Jay and I are going to cut a bunch of these right now. This is a seven foot pillar. And these are 10 foot. So we're going to cut three feet off each one. And once we do that, I'll show you how we attach them and probably uh, wrap this up. Okay, guys, we made it. It rained and thundered, lightning, all kinds of good stuff, but we've made it. You want to give them a 360 or 180 of everything we've done here. Uh, these corners are pretty time consuming. We put on about, about 70. Uh, each box has 40, they're 10 footers, so we just cut them as we need them to put them on. I figured I'd put these last three on in, on the camera and kind of think of what did I leave off, if anything. Oh yeah, we started this job a year ago. You might say, wow, a year ago, that's a long time. Well, they put in um, for new plans and to redo it, they've redone this uh, Back deck quite a few times because they wanted something different and the city says you got to do this, you got to do that. So one thing led to another. So all of our paper that we had existing, we had to cover it up. Why? Because you cannot leave paper on that long. If it's a windy wall, you can get away with a month. But uh, we didn't have no wind back here particularly, but we had a lot of rain. So we had to put... All new paper. You cannot have existing paper on that long. It loses its warranty. Anyway, my last corner here. And you folks watch and say, wow, that sure is a lot of corners. J.I. did a job about three months ago. 
We use four boxes of corners. Anyway, you see how how that is straight, and when we go get ready to stucco, it gives us a clean line to stop to. My name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. Now, show he, Jason's wearing ski jacket. This is what he ski patrol. So when he's doing ski patrol, that's how he dresses up. This it's a cold day out here, guys. Stay warm and dry. Absolutely. Anyway, we thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see, see you guys in the next one. one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.